Well, we got our music uh, for for both shows, uh, for Aida and for The Magic Flu. We got both uh, shows' music uh, in early August, so I um, I was able to uh, you know start practicing then, and uh, it's a little bit daunting uh, task because uh, the music, especially for Aida, is a very you know very thick, like probably like you know that thick book of music, and that's just for the chorus parts, and, uh, and of course it's all in Italian and. Uh, there are a lot of things in the music that were very rhythmically challenging, as well as a few things that were musically challenging. Uh, it's a very, it was a very thick, very dense score. I mean, you would have, you could have at one time like six to eight principals, uh, principal roles singing, as well as uh, you know women's chorus, men's chorus, and then the full orchestra underneath. So you have like, you know, close to like twelve, fourteen bars worth of, and uh, stabs of music to, uh, you know, happening all at the same time and just trying to find where you fit in. Uh, you really want to know know what you're doing and where you're going with that. So I, uh, so I made sure, you know, and we also got rehearsal CDs, which were nice to kind of hear the music, get in, in our ears and things like that and ab absorb through osmosis. Uh, but so, you know, we did... We did that, and you know, a lot of a uh, lot of practicing. Uh, I did a lot of practicing uh, also with my friend Eric Garber, who was also in the show. We did practicing together since. Excuse me, we were uh, singing a lot of stuff uh, together, so it was a lot. It was a lot of work, but when we got to our uh, first couple of rehearsals with everybody, like we were actually a little. I, I, I don't want to say over prepared, but we were definitely uh, where we needed to be. We. Uh, we knew what we were doing. We were able to keep up, and we weren't the people that they were uh, going back and re-rehearsing different parts over and over again for.